So here's the thing. The world said no. It laughed off the idea. Said China could never lead when it comes to true innovation. That they were just copycats. But guess what? China just shocked everyone. It's wild, right? But hey, welcome back. You're in the right place where we dig into the stories that matter. The ones shaping our future. The ones that change the way we think about the world. And today, we're diving into something huge. Something that could shake the foundation of global tech. And it's coming from a place most people still don't fully understand. For years, the narrative around China was simple. It was the factory of the world. Everything you held in your hand, from smartphones to laptops, was most likely assembled there. It was a hub of manufacturing, not of groundbreaking innovation. The West thought, sure, they'll make things cheaper, faster, but they're not creating anything original. But that mindset? That story is outdated. And frankly, it's dangerously out of touch. Because what's happening now? China has just flipped that script. And the shift? It's massive. To understand just how big this moment is, let's take a step back. Look at the history. In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, China was the world's factory. They did the heavy lifting of mass production, assembling products designed and engineered elsewhere, the factories were efficient, the costs were low, and their workforce was skilled. But in the world of tech, they weren't leading the way. They were mostly catching up. That was the narrative. But here's the catch. While the world was focused on their assembly lines, China was quietly setting its sights on something bigger. They weren't just looking at how to make products. They were focused on how to design, build, and create from scratch. So what did they do? They started investing big time. We're talking about infrastructure, we're talking about R&D centers, universities, laboratories, and most importantly, human capital. They began to pour resources into creating homegrown technologies. They built their own systems, their own innovation pipelines. They weren't just following, they were laying the groundwork to lead. Still, most of the world didn't see it coming. For a long time, critics said, they'll never lead, they'll never innovate. Even when they began pushing out massive amounts of money into research, especially into AI, quantum computing, and the semiconductor space, the naysayers were relentless. They can't compete with the West's top-tier talent. They're just trying to catch up. But now, that's changed. China is no longer playing catch-up. They're leapfrogging in several fields at once, and the world is just waking up to the fact that this is no longer a race, it's a new era. Let's talk about quantum computing. It's been a field dominated by the likes of IBM, Google, and others, with occasional advancements from various tech leaders. But China has just made an astonishing move. They recently unveiled Zhuchong Z3, a quantum processor that allegedly outperforms all existing systems by a huge margin. This isn't just a small upgrade, this is a game changer. Quantum computing is like the holy grail of computational power. What traditional computers can't even begin to process, quantum computers are designed to solve exponentially faster. This technology is still in its early stages, but the implications? They're mind-blowing. It could revolutionize everything from cryptography to drug discovery, material science, and even climate modeling. If this technology is real and scalable, it will place China at the forefront of a tech revolution that has been years maybe decades in the making. But let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. It's not just about quantum computing. China is also quietly reshaping the future of energy. We all know that climate change is a massive challenge. The world is moving toward cleaner, greener energy sources. And in this race, China has positioned itself as the leader in solar and wind technology. But here's the kicker. They've taken this to the next level by integrating artificial intelligence with energy systems. They're not just producing solar panels and turbines at scale, they're using AI to optimize how energy is distributed across entire city. They've created AI-driven smart grids that adjust in real time, ensuring power is used more efficiently, reducing waste, and balancing supply and demand like never before. This isn't just a futuristic idea, it's happening now. They've already deployed some of this technology in test cities and regions, Imagine an entire city running on clean energy, powered by solar, wind, and AI-managed grids that keep everything running smoothly. No energy waste, no inefficiencies. This is what's coming, and China's positioning itself at the very forefront of this revolution. 
Now let's talk about semiconductors. This is the big one and it's loaded with geopolitical significance. For years, China has been dependent on foreign suppliers for some of the most critical technology in modern electronics, semiconductor manufacturing equipment. Without access to cutting-edge lithography machines, they couldn't make the most advanced chips. The United States, in particular, had a stranglehold on the technology, which many assumed would stifle China's growth in tech. But instead of accepting defeat, China doubled down on its own semiconductor R&D. Reports are now coming out suggesting that China has made significant strides in developing its own extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography technology. This is the process that enables the manufacturing of the most advanced chips. Chips that are used in everything from smartphones to supercomputers. If China has cracked this, it changes everything. No longer will they be dependent on the West or any other country for their semiconductor needs. They'll have full control over their tech supply chain. That's not just a technical leap, it's a political and economic game changer. This is where things get really interesting. These advances aren't isolated events. They're part of a broader shift that's happening across multiple domains. China is tackling energy, quantum computing, and semiconductors simultaneously. And each of these breakthroughs is interconnected. Now here's the big picture thinking. Why does this matter? It's not just about China, it's about how the world is changing. When a nation becomes self-reliant in these critical sectors, when it holds the keys to quantum computing, clean energy, and semiconductor manufacturing, it has immense geopolitical power. The world has been accustomed to a global tech ecosystem that's largely based in the U.S. and Europe. But if China continues on this path, we could see two distinct tech ecosystems forming. One in the East, one in the West. That's a big deal. It'll change trade, technology, and even military dynamics in ways we're only beginning to understand. And this isn't just about power. It's about economic strength. Technological leadership brings economic strength. Just look at China's rising influence in the electric vehicle market. Companies like BYD and NEIO are already challenging Tesla's dominance. And that's just the start. When you control the next generation of technology, you control the future. China knows this, and they're playing the long game. But let's not ignore the societal impacts. These technological breakthroughs don't just shape industries, they shape societies. AI-managed smart cities could transform how we live. Quantum computing could revolutionize healthcare, helping us solve problems from cancer research to climate change faster than we ever thought possible. But with all these innovations come ethical questions. Who controls the data? Who controls the power? How do we ensure privacy, freedom, and fairness in this new world? These are big questions that will need to be answered, not just by China, but by all of us. The future we're heading toward is going to be shaped by these developments. Whether we like it or not, China's rise as a tech powerhouse is a reality we can't ignore. It's not just about competition anymore. It's about a new world order. One where innovation isn't bound by borders. It's a world where power is distributed in unexpected ways. So, where does that leave us? What does the future hold? That's up to us. But one thing's clear. The future is being built today. And it's being built everywhere. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think? Is China's technological rise a force for good? Or does it bring new risks we need to address? What other areas of innovation would you like us to dive into? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I always love hearing your insights. And hey, if you found this conversation as fascinating as I did, share this video with others who care about the future. Share it with those who think ahead, who are ready to understand the big shifts happening right now. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay inspired. The future is here, and it's being built by those who dare to think differently.